All right, this time I'm going to teach you the math game called Tic-Tac-Toe Products. It's a game where you get to practice a lot of multiplication facts. The goal of the game is to get four in a row, either horizontally or vertically or diagonally. Okay, so the first player gets to choose two factors, any two factors that they want to multiply. Um, I like to start in the middle of the board. It's better strategy because you have more options. So I'm going to multiply five times six. And this is the only um, point in the game where you can choose two factors. So five times six makes 30. And I'm going to go and cover the number 30 with my game piece. All right, I'm playing against my imaginary friend, Bob. And Bob also wants to cover the middle of the board. And so let's say he decides he wants to cover 20. He can do that by moving one of these paper clips to make a product of 20. And so he realizes he can move the 6 to the 4. 4 times 5 is 20. So he covers 20. All right, well, I'm going to try to shoot for 28. And I see that I already have a 4, and I just need a 7 now. So I can move my 5 to the 7, and that makes 28. And now I'll cover 28. Okay, Bob wants to cover the number 18. And he realizes he needs either 2 times 9 or 3 times 6 but he can't do any of those right now because he can only move one paper clip at a time. And so he starts looking in the other direction and thinks, hmm, I wonder if I can get 21. Well, he realizes that three times seven makes 21. He's already got the seven here. So he's gonna move the four to the three and get 21. Okay, at this point, I'm starting to think strategy. Um, I could go three times nine and get 27, or I could try to block Bob's path and either do 3 times 8 is 24 or try to do 3 times 6 is 18. I think 3 times 8, sorry, 3 times 6 is 18 is more strategic because then he definitely can't get 4 in a row here. But maybe I should just try to win the game. So I decide to go with 3 times 9 is 27. So I move the 7 to the 9 and cover up 27. All right, now Bob's in panic mode. He realizes I can win with 25 or 32. And so he knows he's not gonna move any of them to the five or else I'll get five times five is 25. He tries to see if he can cover up 32 right now. He needs four times eight, but there's no fours and no eights. And so he's gonna try to avoid covering any fours and eights and fives so that I can't win. All right, so he goes back to working on his own game and decides to go for the 18 right here. He has a nine. He's going to move the 3 to the 2 to get 18. Okay, well I want to block his path. And so I decide, oh I know, I'm just going to cover the 16. And so I move this paper clip over and I take 16. And I'm thinking, yay, I covered his path. I blocked him. He cannot win. Except Bob actually has the option to get 24 now. Oh, I hope he doesn't see it but Bob's a pretty good player, and he sees that lots of things can multiply to 24 and decides to move the two to the four, or sorry, the three. And now he's got 24, and Bob wins the game. One, two, three, four in a row, tic-tac-toe.